What's up, guys? It's Brownman from AchievementHunter.com, and today I have the man, the myth, the legend, Jeffrey Ramsey, everybody. Hey, what's up, dude? How's it going? It's going going pretty well, and we're getting stand-in, and this achievement uh, was was a bitch, to say, <laughs> to it, say, say, it, it, say it nicely. Yeah, to say uh, to put a pleasant uh, spin on it. <laughs> yeah, so to get this achievement, you have to uh, bring the, the uh, survivors to quote-unquote paradise. Right, the original survivors which are uh, the guys from the previous zombie maps. Yes, exactly. All right, so there's multiple steps to this. The first step is to get power, and which this is the first thing you should be doing anyway. Yeah. And to get power, you just go on the very first boat, which is to the right of where you spawn. You're going to open a few doors, and you are going to flip a switch to get power. Which we should point out, too, This is uh, there are two achievements related to this, one in co-op, one in single player. The co-op one gives you the achievement for single player, mm -hmm. but uh, no one in the world is smart enough to do it yet. No, we've messed around for many hours trying to figure out the co-op one. dude, we probably spent more time, or at least I personally probably spent more time trying to figure out the Ensemble of Cast achievement and, and fail than I have with any other video game. Yeah, there's nothing like putting six hours into achievement and have nothing to show for it at all. Yeah, it's fucking terrible. All right, so once you turn on the power, you're going to go into the lighthouse. This is like the little basement area of the lighthouse. You're going to want to knife the door. You're going to hear the survivors behind the door, and they're going to mention a fuse. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit here, but I'm going to stop when they're going to mention like uh, the fuse exactly. Yeah, we should probably mention that it's it's a good idea to uh, stand here and let them go through their entire uh, dialogue, because we had some problems where if we'd walk away too fast, it would just stop, and then we would be kind of like boned and have to start over again. Yeah, exactly. Also, while doing this, I do have a crawler just roaming around, so I have all the time in the world, and George is just on the other side of the map. If he gets close, you can always lead him away. You'll see in the video, I get a little bit close. I think even right here, George Romero's right there. But oh, anyway, yeah. <laughs> once they're done talking, the fuse is in this room. It's either on that table, on the table opposite the room, or uh, we were playing with somebody earlier who said they found it in a filing cabinet in the room. Once you do that, you go down and you insert the uh, fuse right in the little fuse box thing there. Then they're going to do the whole spiel, and then they're going to talk about generators now. Oh boy, the generators. Yeah, this was... I actually got good at destroying the generators. There's one right there. That's exactly what they look like. I'm going to leave that one for last just because it's out in the open and we got to come back here anyway. And you don't want to kill your crawler. Yeah, or George Romero who have me pinned in this room as I dance around them. <laughs> By the way, we should mention, just in case you don't know what a crawler is, if you cook a grenade and throw it at the feet of a uh, zombie, you can blow its legs off. And uh, then they just kind of crawl around. Hence yeah, the name very crawler. slowly. And as long as there's one zombie left on the map, they can't start the new wave. So yeah. you, you can basically, if you cut the legs off of the final zombie in your round, uh, you can basically run around the map uh, unabated. Yeah. So you want to try nice. and do that. I have Semtex grenades, which you buy uh, off the wall on the second boat, but it does work uh, with frags as well. And if you have a ray gun, you could aim toward their lower body, and that will work as well. Uh, the first one, the first generator you saw there was in between the first and second boat. It's kind of in like a little crevice between them. Just throw your Semtex grenades, and uh, they're usually good about going off. This one was being a pain in the ass. Took three grenades to get it. You have to get it on the actual red part, the top of the uh, generator itself. And uh, if you run into grenades, you can just run back and buy Semtex. That they're pretty one, cheap. Yeah, they're, they're like pretty cheap. They're only 250, 250 bucks, I think, yeah. Yeah, the one I just got there that took three grenades was on the first boat where you turn on the power. There's like a section on the opposite side of the boat that you can open. And um, yeah, it's kind of hanging off the boat. I think that's the most difficult one to get. Toss a few grenades, you'll get that no problem. This is at the bottom of the lighthouse. You uh, go all the way to the bottom. You open the door um, opposite the uh, stairs. And this is a little boathouse here. And check out this sweet throw. Yeah. Oh, brilliant, yeah. dude. That was yeah, awesome. That was a nice little twitch <laughs> throw. You can actually get the zombies to open this window It'll, to be much easier. But I've had to do this so many times that I'm just comfortable with making that throw. Yeah. So that's number three. And then the fourth one is, of course, in the room. So we're going to come back <sighs> down here. And just toss it up there, and this, that is done. This uh, this achievement is exhausting just to watch, let alone to try and get. Golly. Yeah, I was I was up late last night making sure you need like a perfect run, everything to go perfectly, get good weapons, and just, uh, just brutal. I'm yeah, just the uh, it sucks. The random box can really ruin your day on this fucking achievement. Yeah, there was literally one sequence where I got a, a pistol, a, like dual pistols, pistols, and the magno. Man, I just want to kill myself. Because <laughs> that's almost like two grand wasted on just handguns. Hey, what perks do you have right, right now, now? The green one I have is sleight of hand, so you aim down sight and reload faster. The red one, which is very important in, uh, when you're playing single player, is Juggernaut, which allows you to take five or six hits as opposed to two. And the blue one is Quick Revive, which is available from the start. You just look across the water and it's on there. 
yeah. and when you go down, you get right back up. By how uh, how much does the Juggernaut cost? Twenty five hundred. The Jesus. sleight of hand is three thousand, and the quick revive is only five hundred. But anyway, once you do the whole generator thing, and they do the whole spiel, uh, I forgot the name of the the German scientist, but he's going to mention something about a golden rod. And if you listen right after that's done, you're going to hear this kind of beeping noise. Uh -huh. And this is what exactly this is exactly what it is. We this isn't in co-op by the way. This is only a single player that yeah. we found. You come outside and there's a little, little light uh, flashing off in the yeah. distance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That orange thunderbolt just thingy just means uh the pack of punch machines moving. And that's exactly what it looks like. It keeps pulsating in what looks like to be like a pattern. And uh turns out that's Morse code. Yeah, for anybody that was born 150 years ago and actually has used Morse code, you'll yeah. know that there's a uh, there's a cute little uh, hidden message in there. Yeah, and you'll be like, oh, I know what that means. You guys are stupid. But <laughs> after trial and error, you have to come all the way back to the first boat. We're going to go all the way back up to where the power was and go to the captain deck more specifically. And loosely uh, translate, this is what it means. You're going to want to pull this left lever once. You want to... Pull the left, the right lever three times, and spin the wheel twice to the right. Now I didn't touch this at all previously. If you touch yeah. it previously, it might be a little difficult to get the wheel. And it's the right... in, it's important to note that because uh, the wheel can be confusing. There's like a dark uh, handle on the yeah. wheel. It just needs to be at the five o'clock position. Yeah, and once you do that, you'll hear some kind of boat in the background. And hey, what's that? Oh, hey, green light, submarine, pointing right to the lighthouse. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. I'm eventually going to go check it out and show you what it does. Just getting real over here. And like you said, uh, that does not work in co-op, no matter how hard you try. No. Well, not that we found. Maybe it is. Maybe it's something different. But we don't even yeah. get up to the Morse code part in multiplayer. But when you get to the lighthouse here, you see it goes like all the way to the top here. I'm just going to clear the debris to show you. And I think you could see it from here. I don't go up all the way, but there's like a ship up there, like some kind of UFO even, and it goes all the way down to the bottom. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's we're almost done though. We're at the final step here. Now is the infamous golden rod. So you're gonna need the VR11, which you get out of the random box, which in itself is a challenge. Or yeah, or in my case, you just never ever yeah, get the or you VR11. just never get it. And what you want to do is you want to bring a zombie over here, crawler or not. I pause the game here. Don't ask me why. You can shoot him the VR-11, he turns into a human, you have to make sure he goes into the portal, keep shooting him so he dies. You'll know he's dead when he's like that. And we're gonna follow him up. It's pretty good, it, a better idea would be to do this with two zombies, so the round doesn't start, like a fresh round here, which is yeah. kind of stupid. Like, I tried this previously with uh, another one, but I didn't shoot him, so he just went straight up and nothing happened. Now, I'm gonna get attacked here, but if you watch the portal in the background, you, you'll see something drop. You'll hear, like, a bolt of lightning, which will happen right here. Now just watch the portal in the background. You can kind of see a loot like fall. See, yeah, that was it right yeah. there. All right, now it's down there. I'm just gonna kind of cut to me. I almost die here. I'm just get the hell out of the way. Dude, come on. <laughs> yeah, I, I. There were so many times I'm like, oh, p just don't choke, Ray. Please don't choke. Cause this is across like three different runs. Anyway, once I clear the zombies, you come back down here, and do do do. There's the golden rod. The fucking golden rod. Fucking yeah, exactly. The bane of our existence. So, I'm gonna grab that. I'm going to kind of kite these zombies. By the way, if you're looking for a place to kite zombies, just run this circle down here. You can get them behind you, and they can kill them as you please. Once that's all said and done, take the golden rod. You want to put it right in that tube there. Which is where you put the vodka in uh, co-op. Yeah, and you don't have to do the vodka in single player because you can't, you know, knife it and catch it. So that's why that whole thing is skipped. So now they're going to save some more stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, and I don't pick that up because I'm have the crawler there yeah, yeah, yeah but I do get myself pinned back here so I do have to open the door so pretty much what they're saying in there is okay you finish everything for us we're gonna get out of here thanks for helping us and then you hear like like the fuse breaking that's exactly what it sounds like and it's all you gotta do is go in there and act the fuse I'm just dancing around because I have some crawlers and George there so once I go in there you see the fuse is kind of sparking you knife it and you hear a cat for some reason dude and... I wish that's how it worked at my house yeah you just knife it. it's like okay we're good we're good. We don't need to buy. Trip, yeah, exactly. Stick a fucking just knife get, in it. Get a butcher knife and just swipe it. But once you do all of that, and there you go, <laughs> stand in, 35 gamer score. It's that simple. Yeah, exactly. And then you get the uh, Wonder Waffle. You get a cool little gamer picture as well. But I mean, nobody's used gamer pictures since like what, 2005. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And just to show the Wonder Waffle on George, and just to prove that George is a beast, you shoot him, and he just laughs at you the whole time. But it's cool that you have it at least for 30 seconds. 
But for more videos, guys, check out AchievementHunter.com.